Welcome to Refreshing Point Ministries, where Dr. Rick Layton is pastor and teacher. We thank you for your continued support of this ministry. For products and church information, please visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Now, get ready to receive the word as we are changing your world through faith. In order to bring correction, what happens is in a church when people when, when people start to get in a certain mode or things start to happen in a ministry, it's like wildfire. It catches on. Yes. And we should love people, but we need to tell the truth. Right. Speak the truth in love Amen. that you may grow thereby. Yes. Hallelujah. God may still love you when you live in sin, but it gives Satan access into your life. You could go out and, and after you're born again and, and still, still be an adulteress, adulterer. Still be out there committing adultery, running around with women, running around with men. God wouldn't reject you. God would still love you. But guess what? Gonorrhea might knock on your door. Syphilis might say, hey, hey. Or something else. You open yourself up to sexually transmitted diseases or you open yourself up to a life that you may not have wanted because you open yourself up to a lifestyle that's not of God. But it has nothing to do with whether you're going to heaven or not. God loves you. You gave your life to Christ. You messed up. Are you listening to me today? And when Satan gets a foothold into your life, the scripture says, give no place to the devil. When Satan gets a foothold into your life, he... He, he doesn't want to stop. He'll just take you down. He'll just keep, ah, oh, come on. You hearing what I'm saying? No, you don't have to tithe. You don't have to. Stay broke. <laughs> oh, that, that, was a, that was a way of putting it that's just, boom, there it is, huh? No, you don't have to tithe. You, you don't have to give offerings. You, you don't have to do nothing but remain whatever color you are. Oh, God, let me sweet lips, sweet lips. Huh? But, but if you want the blessings of God to hit your life. See, grace opens the door to everything Jesus provided for us, but faith gives us access to that grace. Actually, we cannot obey God until we find out our identity and begin to walk in our identity. My identity, our identity, after we're born again, is that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I do right, I live right, because I know that's my nature now. You can't give a man that doesn't know who he is instructions. If I think I'm a woman, you can't instruct me. Help me out. If I think I'm a woman, you can't instruct me to what? If I, and I'm a man, but I think I'm a woman. If I think I'm a woman, you can't instruct me on how to, oh, you so smart, on how to love a woman. Because I love a man. And I think I'm a woman. Come on, talk to me. But once I find out my identity, that I am a man, and that men love women, then you can instruct me to love a woman because I know, I know, I know that my identity, that I'm a man, and according to the word of God, I'm supposed to love a woman. And no matter how fine a man is, I know my identity is that I'm a man and that I'm supposed to love women. Come on, you better lift your hand on this. Y'all better get this. Then you can instruct me. 
Well, it's the same thing with tithing or with anything else. Once you know that your identity is that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, that you are a born-again Christian, that God made you a new creature, then I can tell you bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse because this is just what Christians do. We I, I can tell you that God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. When you understand who you are in Christ, I can give you instructions because you know your identity and you know that God watches over his word in your life to perform it. You know that he'll never leave you, that he'll never forsake you. Are you catching what I'm saying? When sickness try to hit your body, I can minister to you that with long life shall he satisfy you. And you'll receive it. You'll receive those instructions because you'll believe those instructions because you know your identity. You can't give a man instructions if he don't know his identity, if he don't know who he is. You got to know who you are before somebody can tell you what to do. Amen. If I realize that I'm Murphy Layton's child, that I'm his son when I was 10, 12, 13, 14, and the Bible tells me to obey my parents, then, then you can give me instructions because I know that with long life shall he satisfy me. But if I don't understand that I'm already blessed and that the grace is on me and that I'm going to be empowered if I obey Oh, I feel like teaching this morning. Thank you, Lord. But that doesn't mean that I beat you up, that we kick you because you don't understand or because you don't do. It's a whole lot of folks going to heaven and going to live in hell on this earth. Lift your hands on that. But I don't know about you, but I want everything that God has for me. Every door that he opens for me, I want to walk through it. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. My nature has been changed. I'm not driven to sin. And while Satan trying to make me sin, I'm saying I'm the righteousness of God. Take your hands off me, Satan. I know who I am now. I'm more than a conqueror. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in every tongue that rise up against me in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. Oh, I feel like preaching this morning. Every time I make a mistake, I say, that's not who I am. My mistakes do not define me. Glory to God. But who God made me defines me. Refreshing Point Ministries would like to thank you for viewing this message by Dr. Rick Layton. To order this message in its entirety, please call us at 877-227-8317 or visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Until next time, be blessed.